All right, guys, lock number 15. There's only two more on side three on Lockpicking Lebowski's treasure chest. Uh, I have not been looking forward to this one. I'll be honest with you. I have never seen anything like it. And I think I commented on that when we did the initial review. Several of you sent me some links to some videos of how this lock worked. And had it not been for your help, I would probably still be struggling. Um, the way it works, and I obviously don't have it, there's uh, like a card, like a credit card that slides into this little slot right here. And inside of there, I think, perhaps, if I get the camera to focus, you can see that there's, I count four little dimples down inside of there. And they're a little bit offset. So two, uh, two on the top row, two on the bottom row, and they're offset. So I think you might be able to see them if I can get some focus working for me. I don't know. Um, what really threw me, though, was the tensioning, because the tension bar is located, again, with the light. He's located right here in the back. And I don't, I'm not sure I would have seen him had you guys not sent me those videos to take a look at. So um, I'm basically going to be going over some plowed ground here. This is at a weird angle, so I can't hold it comfortably like that without turning the whole box around. What I am going to do, again, you guys showed how to tension it by putting a tensioner in the bottom. And then I'm just going to apply a lot of pressure with my thumb. And that will place it right up against that tensioning bar, which is located right there. So I guess what happens is when you put the credit card in, the credit card holes align, set the dimples to the correct depth, and then and only then freeing up the, the tensioning bar to push out of the way and get it open. So let's give it a shot. I'm going to push very heavy tension on my thumb. And you can see it's starting to... There's a little bit of spring loadedness on that, uh, it's a technical term, on that bar. I'm going to use this guy, a flat flag, and see if I can find a binder. I'm going to start on the top here, and I'm just wishing him back and forth. And those are springy. There he is. All right, there's one in the very back corner. So, of course, it's going to be the hardest one to get at. It has to be, right? And I think I just overset him. Yeah. Ah, no, I didn't. I just got an open. I don't believe it. Bill, why were you not looking forward to this? <laughs> this is so easy. But only because you guys showed me the path. <laughs> I would have had no clue how to even tension this thing. See if I can get the camera to focus now that it... I think you can now see four dimples down the side of there. And on the far left, there's that tensioning bar. And if I hadn't pulled out the lock lab scope and looked in there, I probably never would have noticed that guy on the far left. Anyway, there you go. Lock number 15. How easy can it be? I got a feeling the rest of these are not going to be quite so easy, though. All right, we got one more lock left on side number three. And then we're going to rotate this around to the final side. And let's go ahead and wake up. Lock picking Lebowski. Give him a couple of strikes in case he's sleeping. He won't be anymore. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.